Hey guys, Lazy Jammer here on this beautiful summer day, but you wouldn't know that because I live in an isolated room. I don't live here, this is just a room where I do everything. Hope you're having a wonderful summer. I know I am, that's why I got my Siesta Key uh, Sarasota, Florida hat on. I love that uh, town, Great Beach. Anyway, I thought I'd make a quick video today, um, just a short video about my favorite top five all-time guitar players. In my opinion, get that, this is my opinion. It doesn't mean they're the greatest. Is my opinion, and these players, uh, these are the players that influence the, the way I play. Yeah, let's get started. Number five, number five definitely has to be J.D. Simo. J.D. Simo is a modern guitar player. He uh, is. Um, I went to go. I went to go see him uh, recently, and it was probably one of the best shows I've ever seen. It was the best show I, I, in my life that I've ever seen. I, I can't. I can't even talk about it. It was so amazing. Anyway, but yeah, it was. Um, it, it's the closest thing. I, I never got to see Cream. Um, but I never got to see those big classic rock and roll bands of the late 60s. And like, folks, I've seen videos, and this is the closest thing that I think you're going to get to today. So go check out J.D. Simo, great player. Very, very, very nice guy. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. That's why I love him so much, man. And uh, took, uh, they even signed the vinyl for me. This is a great album, by the way. They just put it out. It's J.D. Simo. Let, the love sh Let Love Show the Way. Great album. Um, all right, number four. Number four, that'd be eight, so just four. Um, has to be Freddie King. Freddie King, I'm slumping. Freddie King is one of the most just players that got me um, just just interested in the guitar. Uh, you you go watch uh, Freddie King live at Sugar Bowl 1972. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. One of the best concerts I've ever seen on YouTube. A lot of great stuff in there. Uh, Freddie King is my all favorite out of all the three Kings. You got Albert, BB, and Freddie. Um, Freddie to me he just speaks to me more than uh, a lot of blues players, uh, a lot, excuse me, a lot of blues guitar players, and I just love his playing. Check it out. He's got some great licks, and he plays them uh, the classic uh, thumb pick and then the metal finger pick, and just gets that biting attack. I love Freddie King. Number three. Number three has to be Rory Gallagher. Rory Gallagher. A lot of people, you know, I know a lot of people know about Rory Gallagher, but a lot of people don't usually talk about Rory Gallagher. Um, now, Rory Gallagher to me, the way he plays, he, if you go back and listen to especially this Beat Club video on YouTube, great stuff on YouTube guys, check it out. We're, you're obviously here on YouTube already. But uh, check out Beat Club Sessions with Rory Gallagher, it's like an hour and a half long, some of the greatest British blues playing that I've ever seen, and I love that Strat, man. Gosh, I love the Strat. And he's just got some of the most soulful playing and um, the most just crazy playing, so I, I try to do a lot of... Um, Roy Gallagher licks, and he's definitely influenced me. So yeah, number three, Roy Gallagher. Number two, number two. Who's number gonna be number two? I think I'm gonna pick Sean Costello. Now, a lot of you probably have never heard of Sean Costello, which is good, because I'm hopefully introducing him to you. Sean Costello is a uh, local Atlanta, well he's not local, he's an Atlanta, um, Atlanta blues uh, guitar player. Sadly, he passed away in 2008, but uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos of Sean Costello you got to check out. Seriously, he's one of, the, um, one of the greatest, most authentic blues players there was up until here recently. But he was the reason why I went out and bought a guitar just like Sean Costello. This is a, uh, a Gibson Les Paul, um, and it's, it's probably my number one. I would say number one and a half. And uh, yeah, he's the main reason why I got this guitar, and I love him to death, man. Just sad that he's not here with us, but there's a lot of great music that he's uh, has he, that he's put out, and there and there's a lot of good YouTube videos that, that out there that you can check him out. Number one, number one, number one definitely has to be Mike Bloomfield. A lot of people uh, always ask me why Mike Bloomfield. You know, he wasn't the craziest, flashiest guitar player. He wasn't. He wasn't the. Um, the most, you know, up and down the neck a guitar player there was. But to me, I, as everyone has their own favorite guitar player, something just speaks to you from their playing. And I don't know what it was with his 59 Les Paul, that's Mike Bloomfield. Uh, this is actually a great, uh, great album, Super Session. Al Cooper, Harvey Brooks, everybody uh, is just killing it on this album. Even St uh, Stephen Stills. There's a um, funny story about this album that you should read up about. But, um, Mike Bloomfield, man, was a crazy dude. Was He always talked like, man, man, this, hey, man, everything's groovy, man. And I read his book. Well, he didn't write it, but there's an auto, uh, uh, excuse me, a biography about him. And it's just a great book, man. And it, it's, I'm starting to talk to him. I'm starting to talk like him. But um, I got a couple records by Mike Bloomfield. It's just a great dude overall. It's just sad that he passed away, too. Just that goes to show you what drugs can do, man. 
Oh my gosh, I'm talking like Michael Bloomfield. Anyway. But, um, yeah, so that's my top five guitar players, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to su subscribe and um, check out all my other videos. I'm going to be trying to get some more gear videos soon. I'm going to be trying to do some more vlogs. I'm just trying to get some more content out there. But uh, comment down below what you guys think. And, uh, as always, have a good day and keep it lazy. Thank you.